Welcome to SBN, the Small Business Network. You've come to the right place if you're looking for some of the coolest apps and gadgets, bright ideas and forward-thinking projects, all presented with your investment consideration in mind. That's right, SBN, the Small Business Network, encourages you to be the shark. You can invest in almost every crowdfunding campaign listed tonight for under $500. Some where your minimum investment is only $100. And there's more too. If you're the type of entrepreneur who prefers to be your own boss, we're showcasing a couple of franchises on offer that play up to your vision of the future and to the decision on your menus for a fast casual restaurant that's stirring up interest and appetites everywhere a new location opens. So settle in for a brief smooth ride across the galaxy of opportunities to invest where the sky meets your imagination of deals to be made. We'll be back in a moment right after this message from the corner office. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. Hey, welcome back. This is SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your host, Brian DeNovellis. No edition of the Small Business Network is complete without a salute to tastemakers we find in cities across the country. And now we're looking at a franchise on offer in Chicago, the Windy City, where Potbelly Sandwich Shop got its start. The Potbelly story begins in a quirky antique shop near Lincoln Park in Chi-Town. Peter Hastings and his wife were enjoying success as antiques entrepreneurs, yet on a whim, they decided to start serving sandwiches to customers who gathered in their shop around lunchtime. As time passed, the little antique shop evolved into the perfect neighborhood lunchtime getaway. With lines reaching out the door and around the corner, customers enjoyed toasty warm sandwiches, homemade desserts, and even live music in this unique atmosphere. Fast forward to 1996, entrepreneur Bryant Keel purchased the original shop and set out to spread the pop belly love across the country, creating shops with the same neighborhood feel as the original. Today, the pop belly magic continues as a publicly traded company with more than 400 neighborhood pop belly shops across the globe. Let's take a moment for a look at the presentation video for pop belly before my stomach starts to rumble. Why did I decide to become a Potbelly franchisee? Well, I used to live in Chicago uh, many years ago, and one day someone brought in some sandwiches from Potbelly, and I was absolutely blown away. Uh, it was the best sandwich I'd ever had. I fell in love with the product, and once I found out they started franchising, I started digging into some research and thought it'd be a good fit for my area. The Potbelly support that we get from corporate is great. If the franchisor is supportive of you, it gives you just that little bit more of an edge to be successful than you get on your own. Just a little bit more and that can make all the difference. Potbelly as a company is really invested in me as an operator and want are heavily invested in my success. So they've clearly met my expectations as far as a business partner and sales-wise we're doing really well. There's no better brand than Potbelly. You won't be disappointed with, uh, like I said, the brand and where it's at and where it's going. I'm really happy with our sales and with our, the brand awareness that's growing. As far as future development, um, we are right now close to opening our second location um, and have our eye on the third location as well. We've identified at least a geographical part of town that we think our third store will go into. Potbelly is a brand people get excited about. There's fans of Potbelly. It's not just another sandwich shop. It's not just another you know, fast food restaurant. There's something unique about it that really connects with people. And so you know, we're incredibly happy with the decision and, and the brand that we chose in Potbelly. Now just a quick idea of the stats, some of the expenses typical to launching a non-drive-through location of a Pop Belly sandwich shop. Total estimated initial investment, $564,050 to $782,700, and that includes a franchise fee of $40,000. There's a lot more to learn about owning a Pop Belly sandwich shop franchise, and if you'd like more information, the Small Business Network can help. Please let us know by contacting us here 
info at sbnfranchise.com. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, and we can show you how. We're back in a minute. This is SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. It takes all of us to slow the spread of the coronavirus. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and stay home unless absolutely necessary. Use a delivery service for essential items like food and medicine. If you must make essential trips, stay six feet apart from other people. Wear a cloth face covering and wash your hands for at least 20 seconds as often as possible. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. Welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. We're the channel where you're in the driver's seat, heading toward potential investments through crowdfunding and franchising. I'm your host, Brian DiNovellis. So glad you could join us. The next product up for your investment consideration says, it's the leading edge in the transformation of particulate waste from wood stoves to money-saving reclaimed clean energy. So here's the big picture. On a planet with over 7 billion people, it's no surprise that 100 million are wood stove users and that 1.5 million wood stoves are sold annually. Here's another log on the fire for your investment concerns. The founders of MF Fire have discovered because of 2020 EPA emission standards, more than half of its competitors have been pulled off the market. That's a pretty big deal for an award-winning clean energy company that's been focused on lower emissions and energy efficiency from the start. To get a sense of the ways MF Fire is influencing its industry and affecting change, let's look at excerpts from the presentation video provided. For your investment consideration, here's MF Fire. MF Fire creates simple, efficient, modern products that are transforming wood heat into clean energy and eliminating critical air pollution around the world. I'm Paul Laporte, CEO at MF Fire. There is 100 million homes around the world with half a billion people who get their heat from wood, and that's a great thing. However, those wood stoves produce a tremendous amount of air pollution and create health issues all around the world. It's incredibly exciting when we think about the impact that we can have. If we took all wood stoves and replaced them overnight with our technology, our wood stoves, we could save up to 40% of the total particulate air emission overnight. We created the first smart stove that you can control from the palm of your hand on your smartphone. Uh, it allows you to actually set a target temperature and heat your home to your desired level. This is groundbreaking. MF Fire's Catalyst Stove disrupted a market that's been stagnant for four decades. Just this year, thanks to new, stricter EPA emissions guidelines, 60% of their competitors were pushed out. Smithsonian Magazine called our products a game changer. This is exciting stuff. You don't see wood stoves mentioned and game changer used in the same sentence. Their unique invention was awarded MIT's Clean Energy Prize, one of the largest and longest running competitions for clean tech startups. And MF Fire continues to attract attention and garner accolades. Their line of stoves have changed the user experience, all while drastically cutting down on harmful emissions from soot and smoke a major contributor to climate change and health problems. Our wood stoves at MFI create the perfect burn. And, and what we mean by that is an efficient burn that gets the most heat out of your wood, a, a burn that has low emissions, so uh, really reducing the pollutants that are put into the air from your wood stove. I'm Ryan Fisher, I'm the uh, COO and founder of MFI. And we're really passionate about our environmental impact. Um, 
Air emissions from wood stoves are a big problem across the United States. My name is Taylor Myers and I'm one of the founders and the lead scientist at MF Fire. So with Catalyst, we're monitoring the conditions inside the stove by taking several different measurements about what's going on. We've got proactive overfire monitoring and prevention. We actually can shut your stove down when we see those dangerous conditions happening. And that's a unique feature. MF Fire's patent portfolio and impressive sales, which have rapidly grown, are poised to keep this Baltimore, Maryland-based company ahead of the competition. MF Fire is optimistic about their growth potential now that 80% of competing products are no longer being sold after a monumental shift in the market. In May of 2020, the EPA instituted new emissions regulations that really restricted the amount of air pollution that can come from a wood-burning stove. As a result, other manufacturers that could not meet these new standards had to exit the marketplace. We knew this was coming and we built to this new standard means that everything that we've done from day one is still relevant and consistent. It didn't slow us down. If anything, it enabled us to accelerate through this time period when most of the other competitors either fell out of the market or have uh, many roadblocks in their way. This is a great time for MF Fire. So while we've, we're continuing to grow our product line, one of our big focuses now is getting our products into as many the hands of as many consumers as possible. We know that we're having a direct result, and a direct impact on people's lives and making a big difference there. Um, and it's something that we take a lot of pride in. Minimum investment in MF Fire is $287.50. Has any of this presentation fired your imagination? There's plenty more to learn before investing in MF Fire and the Small Business Network can help. How easy could it be? Just drop us an email here, info at sbncrowd.com. If need be, we can help you connect with business planners and legal advisors to help guide you through building your investment portfolio. We can put you in touch with our advisors, including Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding lawyer. Remember, Financing is available for most small business opportunities, including equity crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. Now stay tuned to SBN, the Small Business Network. We're back with much more right after a word from our sponsors. There is a road laid out for me. First night here, but Amy seems cool. <laughs> Leading down to the river. I am blind, but I need not see. What do you think? I know this road mm -hmm. is there for me. If I'm really free, take me down to the river and walk. Hey there, welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your MC, Brian DeNovellis. If you've watched the channel before, you may be able to tell we have a soft spot for projects that represent breakthroughs in medicine, transportation, environmental concerns, and energy. They're often products that take time, a few rounds of funding, and a vision of the future. Shared among a small team that's bound to experience a growth spurt, bringing its project to market. To that end, we hope you're ready to witness a breakthrough in medical technology from the presentation materials submitted by the Vision Team at Monogram Orthopedics for your investment consideration. This is Monogram. We're an Austin, Texas-based medical technology company transforming the orthopedic market by combining state-of-the-art surgical robotics with patient-optimized implant design. It's a tremendously exciting time at Monogram. We successfully closed our Series A. Uh, we have raised over $16.7 million over the life of the company. Now it's just a 100 mile an hour sprint to try and bring this technology to market as quickly as we can. Disrupting the $19.6 billion joint replacement market will not be easy. It'll take innovative engineering, tenacity, grit, and the dedication of a world-class team. That's why we've recruited what we believe to be one of the best engineering teams on the planet to help realize our vision. Our growing team of 16 full-time employees have what we think are some of the most seasoned experts in robotics, software, and orthopedic implant design in the world. We now have eight patent applications filed, a freedom to operate, and we've also executed a strategic licensing agreement relating to certain implant IP. 
Monogram has its sight firmly set on defining the next industry standard in joint replacement, and you can still be a part of it. Our goal is to create fresh excitement in the world of orthopaedics. A key to any new product's success is ensuring product market fit with the end users, surgeons. We have assembled a Monogram Surgeon Advisory Panel, now consisting of five orthopaedic surgeons who are actively practicing and that use varied surgical approaches for a diversity of input. So I'm Gregory Catlett, I'm a surgeon here in Austin, Texas. I think Monogram is a very interesting company. I think they've got some uh, very forward thinking and plant design ideas. I'm really a big fan of the press fit uh, mentality, the model, and also very interested in the robot. I think the robot is much different than what's currently out on the market. Kind of a game changer as far as robotics go. We want our products to enjoy broad market appeal. Uh, these are the kind of things that we're designing. These are total knee implants, and along with these, we're designing the instrumentation to place these into people. We will be developing a complete robotic and software platform to allow us to do these surgeries robotically as well as with manual instrumentation. Monogram's development efforts are now fully underway. While Monogram continues to make significant progress, disrupting a $19 billion industry is no small task. We need to keep the momentum, energy, and pace of development at a maximum. This is the future of orthopedics, and it is inevitable. We need to be highly aggressive with our development pace and continue to use our size to our advantage. Fundraising is a critical part of this. Monogram has used the efficiency of crowdfunding to catalyze progress. Now is the time for us to ramp the intensity and push even harder towards our mission. We believe we are on track to be the first company to market with an active milling navigated robot arm with 3D printed patient optimized implants. Support the future of orthopedics today. Minimum investment in monogram orthopedics is 25080. Let's see now. Robotic assisted surgery, appliances created using 3D printing, and if I do say so myself, automated digital image analysis algorithms. It can be pretty breathtaking, feeling the future coming on strong. If you want to know more before making an initial investment in Monogram Orthopedics, the Small Business Network can help. Drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including SBN's crowdfunding legal guru, Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding attorney. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including equity crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. There's much more up ahead. Please stay tuned. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. Hello again. Welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian Dinovellis, back with another brilliant advance in communications, and we're not going to waste a moment of your time. From Waverly Labs, meet the ambassador for your instant investment assessment. Imagine being able to snap your fingers and become fluent in 20 languages. I know it sounds impossible, but at Waverly Labs, we've been working on that for years to make it a reality. Meet ambassador. We've been hard at work re-engineering every detail of the device to deliver professional grade translations in the moments that it matters most. Ambassador, a world without language barriers. Reserve your shares today at startengine.com forward slash Waverly. There you go, short and sweet and to the point. Minimum investment in the Ambassador from Waverly Labs is 49616. Now they say Waverly Labs is an innovative voice and language products company at the convergence of speech translation and wearable technology. And that's a real mouthful. If you'd like to learn more about Waverly Labs before making an investment, the Small Business Network can help. Drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We will be glad to assist you any way we can. And remember, financing is available for most small business projects, including crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. When we come back, more from the world of small business startups, a franchise on offer that's all about dotting I's, crossing T's, and making it real for all the pupils it sees. That and more when we come back right here on SBN. How prepared is your family if disaster shows up at your doorstep? 
can't just turn away a natural disaster. That's why it's important to go to ready.gov slash plan before they show up. It has the tools and tips you need to make an emergency plan with your family. So if disaster comes knocking, let's go. You'll be ready to help keep your family safe. It's just a pizza. Yes! Make a plan today. I have a confession to make, something personal to share you wouldn't know just by looking at me, but it affects everyone who works at SBN. I wear glasses. My boss wears glasses. In fact, his boss wears glasses. Everyone from down in the basement to up on the roof wears glasses. So who wouldn't want to own an optical shop with a ready-made cast of customers just outside its doors? As it turns out, there are four Pearl Vision Center franchises within a 26-mile radius of our studios. I dare say anyone who needs an adjustment or even a few pairs of glasses is pretty well set. I think that's just how Pearl Vision prefers it too, to be a ready resource for the entire family or even for the entire office. Now before we have a look at the franchise presentation video from Pearl Vision, I want to remind you of two things. Pearl Vision was established 60 years ago. Amazing. Also, any mention of franchise pricing is just a thumbnail estimate, as all the real deal details are hammered out between the franchiser and franchisee. Speaking of seeing, let's have a look-see at the video from Pearl Vision Centers. So when I'm looking at franchise opportunities, I want a successful brand. They all have four things in common. They're unique, they're profitable, they're sustainable for the long haul, and they are necessary to the customer. We're gonna talk about each one with Pearl. So number one, unique. What makes this business unique is it's a nice combination of high tech and high touch. So the high tech part is, is the lenses. We're improving people's vision. And there's a lot of innovation going on in contact lenses and eyeglass frames and, and then lenses uh, to, to improve people's vision. And then the high touch is somebody's got to explain what that value is. Uh, you know, you're dealing with people's uh, eyes, you're dealing with it, you know, health needs. Uh, so, yeah, so you really do need both. You need the innovation of a multi-billion dollar company like Lazotica, and then you got the high touch of the local presence in the marketplace. You put the two together and that makes it very unique and interesting. In 30 years of franchising, I've never seen margins in specialty retail like there are with contact lenses and frames. Very profitable business. Sustainable, according to Jacobson Research, over 170 million people have eye problems right now. 61% of the population, okay, wears corrective glasses or lenses or contacts. You know, that's 25% of kids and then two thirds of the adults. And by the year 2030, 20% of the population of the United States are gonna be over 65. And that's gonna translate uh, to over, by 2050, to over 40 million seniors, up from 20 million right now. now. 20 million is still a lot of potential customers, but 40 million, you know, over the next 30 years. That's why a lot of smart money are looking to try to get into the, uh, and looking for ways to capitalize you know, on the aging senior market. Eye care is gonna be extremely important and continue uh, to be important, you know, well into the foreseeable future. well into the foreseeable future. He may be right in the money with a bold statement like that. Like I mentioned earlier, here are some of the typical expenses associated with launching your own Pearl Vision, becoming your own boss. The initial investment range is from $77,695 to $644,264. The franchise fee is $30,000 and your net worth requirement is around $400,000. There's a lot to consider before you make an investment in Pearl Vision and the Small Business Network can help. Drop us a line here, info at sbnfranchise.com. We can introduce you to business advisors and legal representatives. And remember, financing is available for most small business startup opportunities, certainly for crowdfunding and franchising. Let us show you how. We'll be back with more. Keep watching SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. 
A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. Welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. We started this edition with a tasty franchise and now we're going to wrap it up with a sweet and sumptuous something or to be more precise, Mamie's Pocket Pies. The Mamie's story is one of great American ingenuity for many things we hold dear. Motherhood, fruit pies, and making it big in small business. According to their presentation materials, after making her family's signature pies for her daughter's school fundraiser, Mamie's Pies founder, Kara Romanek, found herself overrun with orders from delighted customers. Kara quickly took this seasonal business, selling nine-inch pies, and turned it into year-round happiness. Enter the creation of Mamie's single-serving, uniquely shaped, handheld pocket pies. While I have no pie samples to offer, I do have a campaign presentation video for a product you might like to consider for your next investment. Here's a look at Mamie's Pocket Pies. What do you think about when I say pie? Is it the memories of your grandmother's apple pie at Thanksgiving? The aroma of apples and cinnamon filling the house? What if I told you, you don't have to wait for the holidays to bring back those memories? With over 46 QVC appearances in front of 110 million consumers. Yeah, I've got to do the happy dance. Happy there dance. it is, come on. David. Named Oprah's favorite, featured on Good Morning America. Oprah's favorite things individually packaged so that when the sweet tooth comes or when the special guests come over, you're ready. And sold over a million units in the past 20 months. We've created happiness in the palm of your hand, Mamie's Pocket Pies, where the frozen little pie with the big homemade taste. Now you have single serving, all natural handheld pocket pies ready to pop in the oven and enjoy. You know, we didn't invent pie, we just reimagined it. We like to keep it simple and classic. Grandma knew what she was doing. All we did was change the shape. Now you can enjoy those sweet memories any time of year. It's been an amazing ride, and we went direct to consumers first. We built out a robust e-commerce platform. Through our own Shopify store, we surpassed $1 million in revenue through e-commerce alone last year. Now Mamie's Pocket Pies are available in over 800 grocery stores nationwide, and that accelerated growth will continue throughout 2020 and beyond. Come down the freezer aisle. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Whatever store I'm in, whatever part of the country, I love to find my pies on the shelf. And here they are. You know, like I always say, it's as easy as pie. Mamie's is the emerging brand that isn't tied to a trend or a fad and fighting for recognition in an already crowded space. We're touted as the most innovative product in the frozen dessert category, filling a white space that's been vacant for years. Mamie's is the only brand innovating in this category. The proof is in the pie. So we're asking you to join Mamie's team and help us spread happiness one pocket pie at a time. Minimum investment in Mamie's Pocket Pies is $225. A seasonal indulgence is now a year-round single serving of happiness. Freezer to oven, it's as easy as pie. Proudly owned and operated by women certified by WBENC, Women's Business Enterprise. If you have any questions about investing in Mamie's Pocket Pies, the Small Business Network can help. Please let us know by contacting us here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding attorney, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including franchising and crowdfunding. We can show you how. And that's going to wrap things up today. We hope you saw something that piqued your curiosity for small business investment, or at least something presented that brought a laugh or a smile to your face. We invite you to come back and watch anytime, and we thank you for making us part of your regular viewing habits. So until next time, 
good health, good heart, and good investments. I'm Brian DeNovellis. Thank you from all of us here at SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs.